In this video, I'm gonna show you something in Affinity Designer that you can use to organize your graphics so that you can speed up your process in creating t-shirts. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. If that's something you like to learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So this video is another in my series of Affinity Designer videos. You've probably seen these right here. Um, this is part four, and this one is all about assets panel, the assets panel. This is gonna help you organize your graphics. Lately, I've been doing lots of videos like these right here um, about graphics, you know, where to get graphics. My latest one was getting graphics from fonts and you may have tons and tons of graphics if you're like me. I'm gonna show you an easy way to organize these in Affinity Designer and that's with the assets panel and you're gonna be able to just label them and drag and drop these and this is gonna save you so much time when you're designing t-shirts because you won't have to go and search for these graphics. They'll all be on there with Affinity Designer and you'll just drag and drop them and create t-shirt designs really quickly. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in Affinity Designer. This whole thing will be in Affinity Designer so hopefully you have it. If not, you, I have a link in the description for Affinity Designer. You're gonna to wanna to stay till the end to see how I do it, as well as another edition of Trend Credits. So stay to the end for that. But right now, let's get into Affinity Designer. So here we are in Affinity Designer. I brought up this cottage core design that I made in a video before. You might have seen this if you saw that video. So I'm gonna use these. We have some assets here, some graphics, right? We got the flower, we got the leaf, we got these right here, the mushrooms. I'm gonna save these in my assets panel so that I can use them later. And I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, as well with fonts. So we're gonna do this one first and then I'm gonna show you how we do it with the fonts that we just learned how to get. So first of all, you may not have the assets panel. Uh, it could be here, but uh, the way you can find it is go to view and then go to studio right here and then assets is this one. You can see it's not checked by default. At least I haven't had it checked but you wanna click on this, and this is gonna pull up your assets panel right here. It's gonna pull it on the right, but you can move it anywhere, right? You can move it to the middle. I like to put it here just to get it out of the way. So I'm gonna put it here, right? Um, you can see it comes with an iOS 12 uh, assets panel. So this is really cool if you wanna use these, right? If you're making like websites or whatever, um, we're not doing that. So I'm gonna close all of these. These are really cool to have if you are a UX designer, which I am, um, but I'm not gonna do that for t-shirts. You can see just tons of assets, right? That you can do here. Um, I'm gonna close them all. Wow, I didn't realize there are so many. Um, you may have a different set depending on what uh, affinity designer you got. So you can click on here. And right now I only have the iOS 12 assets. I don't have anything else. So if you wanna create another one or your custom one, you go to this right here. You won't be able to see it because it's off screen, um, but it says create new, rename category, delete category. I'll try and get that um, and put it in the front so you can see. But we're gonna create a new category here. So right now you can see it just says assets and assets. By default, that's what it's called, but you can call it whatever you want. So let me go here and rename this asset. So. I'm gonna go and say rename category. So you have category and then subcategory. So rename category, and I'm gonna rename the assets one. I'm gonna call this cottage core, just because that's what we're doing. You can name it whatever, but in this example, cottage core um, assets, or maybe graphics. Okay, and now you can see it's called cottage core graphics. Now assets right here, um, can be whatever, but you can just call it, you can do here and say rename as well, and you can name these whatever. So I'm gonna name this graphics for now, unless we want other subcategories. And here's how easy it is to add to the graphics panel. Let's say we want this mushroom here. Click on it and drag it into the assets panel. Did you see that? Now the mushroom is right here. And if I click on the mushroom, um, I can just pull it back out like that. So this is really handy if I want to use it in another place. You can also name this. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to right click on it and you can see rename asset. So I can call this tall mushroom, mushroom. And the reason you want to name it 
is it may look similar to something else you have and it may get cut off depending on what you have here. So you may not be able to see the full thing and with the name, you'll be able to understand what it is. So here, tall mushroom. Now, when I hover over it, it says tall mushroom, right? So I'm gonna do the same for a small mushroom here. I'm gonna just drag it in. And now I can name this, right click on it, rename it and call it small mushroom. Um, you can do upper lowercase if you want mushroom okay and then of course i'm gonna do this right here drag that in you know and name it i'm gonna call this uh, vine one vine one and so on so i'm gonna put a bunch of these in here you don't have to watch me do it but i'm gonna do a bunch of these and then we'll see what happens i'm gonna put this in fast mode so you don't have to watch me name all of these Okay, we're back. So you can see I put a bunch here. If you saw and watched me in fast motion, you noticed that I made a mistake here. So one thing you have to remember is these things need to be grouped. You might've seen I dragged the frog in and it wasn't grouped and it saved all the different parts of the frog. So make sure that you group your designs together um, and you can always delete them, but you'll see that it will, it will have that. So now that I have these assets panel, look at this. I can just drag it here, you know, make another thing. You know, what if I want this here instead? Like I can easily create a design pattern, put some text and everything. So I have it here. So that's how you do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it with fonts. There's one more step that you have to do with fonts and use it as graphics and put it in your assets panel. So this will save you some time. So first type in, uh, you know, I, I'm gonna look for veneer extras. I already have it here in my favorites. Veneer extras, that's one of the ones we talked about in that video where you can have the graphics from veneer, right? So I'm gonna just type in a few here, A, B, C, so you can see. Um, oh, it did Aerial Kids. Hold on, let's do veneer extras. Sometimes that happens. Veneer extras, you can see um, all of these. So I'm gonna do it a little smaller. And so one way you can do it is type in A, B, C and hit all the keys on your keyboard. But the better way to do it is to go to your GIFs palette and you should have it right here. If you don't open it up from view and studio and glyphs right here. So here's the glyph browser and you can see all of it right here. So what you can do is type in one by one. I'm not gonna do it all, but you can see I'm just gonna double click, double click, double click, double click, and so on. And so you can do this for the whole thing. So Veneer Extras has two versions. They have a light version with a lot of distress and then they have a darker version uh, that doesn't have a lot of distressing on it. You can see this one is the same as this one right here. So there's two versions. Um, the thing you wanna do is do all of them or at least the ones that you're gonna, you know you're gonna use a lot and then um, convert these to curves right here. So now each of these are curves and then you're gonna ungroup them. So they're not fonts anymore, they're curves. So those are objects and you can make a new asset for these. So let me do another one. Instead of cottage core graphics, I wanna do veneer. So I'm gonna do create a new category and then I'm gonna rename this category right here and I'm gonna call it veneer extras. Okay, and then I'm gonna I can divide these into two. So I'm gonna just do um, light version and dark version. So this one is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna rename this one to be light version. Like that. And then I'm gonna start dragging these in. So this one will be the bomb, right? Or bomb, so I rename it, bomb. And that's it. So you can start doing the same thing here and have these assets, rename it lightning bolt or, well, there's two lightning bolts. So uh, short lightning bolt or lightning bolt one, whatever you want to call it. Uh, bolt one. There you go. And you just keep doing that over and over with all your graphics, with all your stuff. I have a download with flags. You can do the same thing, right? If you have flags over here, just drag your flags into the assets panel. So you can see this assets panel will start to grow. You'll have cottage core graphics, veneer extras. You can have the other fonts. You can have flags. You can have uh, ba badges. I think I made one for you to download as well. So 
have fun with this. This is a great way to have all your assets right here. And then when you wanna do a t-shirt, you can look at your extras or your, um, go through all these graphics and then just drag, drag and drop, drag and drop and make uh, t-shirts really quick that way. So uh, I know this was a quick tutorial. Hopefully it was really helpful for you. So basically you're just gonna name these things. If you don't see it in the hamburger menu or this menu right here, you may need to just right click on these. That's how you do do this one. So have fun with this one. It is gonna take a long time to convert all your graphics into the assets panel, but this is a much better way um, to use this in Affinity Designer than trying to look for it in another sheet or something. I have a big, a lot of people just have a big file with all the graphics on it. You know, that, that, it, that can be really hard to kind of shift through, sift through. So um, use this, this is, that's what it's there for. This is um, there to help you just drag and drop and continue to design really quickly. So hopefully this uh, assets panel is a real time saver for you so that you can create t-shirts really quickly. Uh, that's my tutorial for this video. Thanks so much for watching. And your reward for staying all the way to the end of this video is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for joining me on this trend credit. Here is your trend. If I'm too much, go find less shirt. So take a look at these, some low BSRs right here. This is a pretty new trend. I think it's from a meme. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's where it's coming from, but take a look at Merch Informer. It's getting an A, so you know the competition is good. If you don't have Merch Informer, I have a link in the description for Merch Informer. So where you can check competition and look for trends and merch graphics and all of that. Uh, let's take a look again at this trend. Um, there's lots of different ways you can write this. It's mostly text. Some of them have used graphics. If you can use more graphics, I think you um, may have a better chance, but make sure it's just something that people wanna wear. Make sure that it's interesting. You see how there's, there's a couple of different fonts here to make it more interesting. Some color can, can help too. Um, and this one, I looked at all the BSRs on this one, the, the top 10 BSRs on these, the lowest BSRs on this page, and this is getting a B plus. So not the highest trend, it's not super trending, but it's it's trending pretty well. So it's, I would go ahead and do this one. Uh, make sure to check trademarks again. Uh, I may have missed it, but I, I think it's not trademarked. So. Uh, you, you're gonna wanna check trademarks on all of these that I send you because trademarks can change. So this is your trend for this video. I'm too much, go find less. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hopefully this video was really helpful and this can speed you up in your t-shirt designing process. If it was really helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already to this channel, hit that subscribe button in the corner right there. Um, before I leave, I have a question of the day and the question of the day is related to this video and I just wanna know, is there something in Affinity Designer you want to learn about? So this assets panel, you may not have learned about it or known about it. Is there something that you wanna do or something in Affinity Designer as you look through it? Like, what does that do? What does this do? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I know Affinity Designer might be new to a lot of you, so I wanna help you out and make sure that you learn how to use the application and make t-shirts. Thanks so much again for watching, and if you wanna see more Affinity Designer videos and what to do with your designs, click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.